Shalom, 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 family. Uh, so I just, you know, just woke up. You can tell, but uh, you know, decided to just do a video. Um, as you can see, judgment is here upon the earth. Uh, you see what's happening to uh, the world of volcanoes, earthquakes, floods, fires. You see all these things happening. Now I just did a post, my last post. I uh, posted the scriptures, uh, which was uh, Genesis 15, 13, where Abraham is uh, told in a dream that his his descendants would go into slavery for 400 years in a strange land, and that people uh, who they were enslaved to would treat them wickedly for 400 years. And then also Acts says the same thing. Acts 7, 6 says the same exact thing, precept to it, that the children of Israel would go into slavery and bondage in 400 years. And that's not talking about Egypt. If you guys are learned, you know it ain't talking about Egypt. It's talking about the new spiritual Babylon, the spiritual Egypt. If you look on the back of the American dollar, you see that it's all the Babylonian images on there. And not just America, all through the four corners of the earth. So uh, I've told this to people many times before. They don't want to hear it. Fine. But you guys are going to have to to understand, like, you're going to, you're going to listen. You may not listen to me, but you're going to acknowledge who we are. You don't have to acknowledge it now, but you're going to acknowledge it when the Most High kills everybody. Everybody who's taking the, you know what, the venom, that's judgment for you guys. All you people uh, who have taken the venom, the venom, you have some sort of ungodliness in you. Or some type of racism in you towards God's chosen people. And even our own people who took it. You hate yourselves too. That's why the Most High judged you. I made you take that venom. And when all these people drop dead. Then you're going to be saying. Oh my goodness. What's going on? Oh where's God? God doesn't love us anymore. Yeah he turned his back on you guys. You guys were in charge for a long time. But you would not be righteous. You had us in slavery here for so many uh, centuries, and you keep treating us like crap. You won't let us go, just like in just like in Egypt. You guys wouldn't let us go. You guys can keep us here, and you're gonna keep us enslaved, and you're gonna keep killing us, and you're gonna keep hanging us, and you're gonna keep lying. So our Father has to come in and do something about it. And what you're seeing right now is our Father doing something about it. And you guys are going to acknowledge who we are. It may not be now, but you are going to see who we are pretty soon. And uh, I uh, posted a scripture on that, Ezekiel 39, I believe 39, 17, my last post. But you guys are going to know that we are the chosen people who went into slavery. Isn't it amazing how those fake Jews over there in Israel... You see how the Most High is getting rid of them? 80% of their population is, is took the venom. That's how the Most High is getting them. If those are God's people, why is he killing them all? He's getting rid of them. They have to go for us to go back. Have you noticed that the Holocaust lasted from 1942 to 1945? And they say 6 million Khazar convert Jews were killed. Now, I did research on that. Turns out, it's not true. Now, I have a book I posted before, Hitler's book, that they'd never like you to read, that Hitler even said that the, the so-called Negro was the real Jew, the real Israelite. So isn't it, so isn't it amazing how uh, 400 years of slavery and captivity and slave ships and all these things, all you people think that that's nothing? You guys mock us and you make fun of us. But those Jews, those Khazars, they were supposedly the Holocaust from 1942 to 1945. Three years. Three years. And you think that that's worse than 400 years. You think that that's worse than 400 years. You see the witchcraft on, on, on your brains? If you just live in America or any other European-dominated country, you'll grow up to hate black people. Uh, you know, when I was a kid, 
Everybody hates black people. I asked my mother and she couldn't explain to me. But when I was a kid, the Mexican kids used to call me Mayate. They used to call me Mayate and nigger lips and, and, uh, and I didn't even know what that was, but they knew what it was. They knew what it was. So that means that their parents were saying that. Their parents were saying that about us. I had to ask my mother what that stuff was. So my point is, is that there's going to come a time pretty soon that you guys are going to have to understand who we actually are according to the scriptures. And now knowing who we are according to the scriptures, all these religions are now blasted out. Catholicism, Christianity, Islam, Buddhist, uh, Mormons, Seven Day Adventists, they're all lying. They're all taking part in Psalms 83. Crafty Council, they're all taking part in it. So if you guys...